And in today's video guys, I'm going to show you the best tool to reduce your input delay in all games you guys want to play. We all know that the laggy gaming experience is the worst that can happen to gamers. This one tool I'm going to show you is going to make sure to reduce your input delay to the bare minimum on your Windows PC. And if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel afterwards guys. Ever any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. So guys, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the Ultimative Windows Tweaker version 4.8, which has an insane feature which is going to make sure that you can not only reduce the input delay, but also get way more stable ping in games, guys, and lower your latency while gaming, which is absolutely awesome, guys. And you can get your hands, of course, onto it on my website, guys. Just simply click onto it, first or second link in the description, and then you're gonna head here over to input delay. And once you get redirected, there should be a post here on the top, guys, with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail. So therefore, just simply click onto it. And once you get redirected, guys, just simply search for the download button, which is going to redirect you. And then afterwards, you can get your hands onto it, and once you get it here on your PC already, guys, just simply open it up. And in here now we have the Ultimative Windows Tweaker 4.0 Exe. Launch the Exe itself, click onto yes. And now we're already here in the program. And what we want to do in the first place, guys, is head over to performance. And the first thing you want to do is go here now to waiting time to kill non-responsive applications and put it all the way here to the lowest point. Just simply here all the way to the left side, guys. And for the rest, we can now see stuff here like auto end non-responsive programs, restyle shell automatically after some errors. Then we also have disabled tablet input service. Then we have also something like disable Windows Security Center service. We also don't need that. Disable prefetch services, printer spooling services, and Microsoft Edge preloading. Just simply make sure that all of these here, which I'm checking guys, also checked for you. And then for the rest, we have something here like, I don't know, disable smooth scrolling. We don't really need it and edge tab preloading. This is it so far guys for performance. This is everything that I would recommend you 100% to check here. The rest I would just simply leave like that. And what we're gonna do in the next step is click now onto security and privacy guys. And once we're in here, we have a bunch of ones which we can disable here as well. Something like disable Windows Mobility Center, then we have something like disable OneDrive 100% guys. And then we also have disable Windows Update Service because we don't just want randomly an update happening in the background while we're actually gaming. And this is it so far here for security settings. Then we're gonna go over here to privacy guys. And trust me, you can check every single one here because every single one which you don't check is just simply data which gets sent to Microsoft which are not only going to slow down your PC, but as mentioned, Windows is basically collecting data off your PC, sending them straight up to Microsoft. I don't know, to maybe improve the performance of Windows in general, collect like errors and stuff like that. But to be fair, we don't really have to care about it. And it's just slowing down the performance of our PC, which we don't want 100%. And then guys, for the next step, we're going to click here onto additional. And we have something which is absolutely amazing here in this new version of the Ultimative Windows Tweaker, which is enable the network adapter onboard processor and let me explain like that guys any sort of network connection if you play and everything all these like background processes got rendered on your processor basically you know like for some reason windows is working like that nowadays it's using your cpu instead of using actually the network adapter onboard processor you know there's like a specific chip on most mainboards on most motherboards nowadays which purpose it is to manage all of these like network services in the background but for some reason yeah as mentioned windows is made like that that it's using your cpu which we don't want because again it's slowing down your cpu for something like gaming performance so therefore definitely make sure to enable this one guys and then we're finally going to click onto apply tweaks and after we're done with that guys we're just simply going to close the program reset our pc and hop into whatever game you guys want to play fortnite valorant warzone and enjoy having way less input delay and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace